Hey, let's follow up with another technology here that uh, we used. These are the GSF tags. And so you saw these with the uh, letter H in most of our prefixes on the HTML code. Here's a recommendation to go look at a certain uh, documentation on Oracle's website. Let's take a look at that right now. So here we are in section 10 or chapter 10 called using Java server faces technology and web page. There are three links here. Let's take a look at the first one called setting up a page. We noticed at the top of our page we had this code that was automatically created for us. So our JBoss environment did us a favor by including that at the top of the page. Let's take a look here that says adding components to a page. So here's a list of all the components that these uh, prefixes will create. So ones that we did include form, generates the form element. And let's see what else was there. Input text, we use this one. So this is an important page. We don't have time to specifically go through each one of these. But if you're building a page and you know that you need to have some kind of graphics or tables or any other kind of work, this is your reference that you should look at. So back to our presentation here. How do I make dynamic code appear in the uh, page? So conditional loops and things that allow you to dynamically generate rows in a table or things like that, almost like programming, also has some things that you should never use, such as links with databases. So the MVC strategy does not allow the views and the databases to communicate with each other. So you see here's another recommendation for a link. Go to the uh, Java EE5 tutorial page to look at some of these things called JSTL core tags. Let's see what they do. So here's the page. And the idea is that you can generate things that look like uh, this example here, conditional tags. So a conditional tag begins with the letter C. And you can actually check to see if for some reason there is a, a non-empty field for your form then you can render something else on the page and so a little bit of logic built into your uh, form and right onto your page. So we're not going to spend any more time uh, demonstrating these but uh, this is a great resource if you want to figure out how some of the features are on generating some dynamic code on your view.